Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, here to talk about the upcoming fight in Ireland in the super bantamweight division between Irishman Willie Casey and former Olympic gold medalist Guillermo Brigando. Now, um, let's talk about counterpunching because Brigando is a counterpuncher's counterpuncher, right? Now first, let's be clear on what I mean when I'm talking about counterpunching. Let's say I'm fighting Manny Pacquiao, right? And uh, I'm right-handed, Pacquiao is left-handed. Let's say I have my hands up to protect myself from Manny Pacquiao, who is right in front of me, facing me, right? Now I have my hands up, so theoretically Pacquiao can't hit me on my left side or on my right side, right, while I'm protecting myself. Now let's say that I'm bigger than Manny Pacquiao, right? Let's say that the fight is at 150 and I'm big like Antonio Margarito. And let's say that I'm aware of the fact that I don't come close to matching Manny Pacquiao in terms of hand speed. And let's say I understand that Pacquiao is very accurate. So I realize that if this fight goes to the judges, right, if it goes to a decision, I'm likely to lose unless I knock out Manny Pacquiao because Pacquiao is likely to outland me by a wide margin. Let's go further. Let's say that I am Antonio Margarito and let's say that um, I'm bigger than Manny Pacquiao and I also understand what Wilt Chamberlain once said. No one roots for Goliath, right? So even if the fight is close, Pacquiao is an Ali type figure in terms of his popularity and people are going to root for the little guy who's slaying the dragon, right? Nobody roots for the big guy beating up the little guy. Rather, we root for the Mike Tysons and the Manny Pacquiao taking down giants. So I know I need a knockout to win the fight. And let's say I also know that Manny Pacquiao has punching power. So my best chance at throwing punches with the most force is early in the fight, right? Not later in the fight when I'm all bruised up. I got a mouse under my eye. Manny Pacquiao has hit me in the ribs a few times. I'm sore. I can't get torqued. No, I want to throw heavy artillery when I am healthy at the beginning of the fight, right? I can't wait five or six rounds because by then, you know, I might be banged up. And, of course, one of Pacquiao's strengths is he has great stamina. So Pacquiao and I are looking at each other. I have a guard up where I'm covered on my left side and my right side, right? I'm right-handed. I want to throw my money punch my right. Here's the problem, right? I throw my right hand at Manny Pacquiao. Let's say I set it up so I'm even leaned to the side. And I throw an overhand right trying to take out Manny Pacquiao. Now keep in mind, Pacquiao left-handed, his dominant hand is right across from my right hand. So I throw my overhand right to take out Manny Pacquiao. If I miss the punch, if Manny Pacquiao has me timed like he has everyone timed, and if, as I'm throwing the punch, let's say Pacquiao's focused on my shoulder. He sees my shoulder flinch. He knows I'm throwing the punch. As I'm throwing the punch, let's say Manny Pacquiao takes a step back, right, and the punch misses. Here's the problem I have. I'm now naked on my right side, right? All of this is open for Manny Pacquiao. So Manny Pacquiao can literally counter my punch. In other words, he can now throw a punch at me, my dominant hand's extended, right? So he doesn't have to worry about my right hand. He can hit me on the right side of my face. Then, of course, if I'm really unlucky, after he hits me and my head snaps back, Pacquiao can then bounce to the right side of my body, and he has me completely naked practically defenseless. I can't even get offensive, right? Because he has countered me, right? He's thrown a counterpunch, 
and now he's following it up as Manny Pacquiao does with a full-blown combination on the side of my body that's completely naked right so what happens when guys fight counterpunchers is um, you know guys are aware of the fact they're scared to throw that right hand because guys are aware of the fact that they're gonna be countered by the way Manny Pacquiao is a switch he can lead and he also counters um, slower opponents you saw him countering Antonio Margarito in their fight all night long there is a way to be a pure counterpuncher like Guillermo Rigondeau what if I have my two hands up and I know Manny is waiting to counter me in fact forget Manny because he's a switch he could lead he can counter let's say I'm facing Guillermo Rigdo right the Olympic gold medalist let's say I know that Rigdo is waiting for me to throw a punch that he can counter and I'm protected what's my way out of the box if I know he's waiting for me to throw a punch the answer is to not throw a punch right um, you know skillful guys and you really have to be comfortable with yourself and you really have to be prepared to get booed by the crowd who doesn't understand <laughs> your strategy skillful guys will fight counter punchers and what they'll do is they'll force the counter puncher to take the lead in other words I'm protected in front of Guillermo Rigondeau I have to force him to get restless and to start to lead then you know what if I know what I'm doing then I can counter the counter puncher right or if Rigondeau doesn't know how to lead and if he's really more of a pure counter puncher right um, which I believe he is then you're gonna have a situation like you had in his last fight against Cordoba by the way in that fight Rigondeau got knocked down in the fight also while he won the fight it was by split decision you're going to have situations like that last fight against Cordoba where Rigondeau threw hardly any punches in many of the rounds because Cordoba wasn't throwing punches back. So desperate are counter punchers to get you to throw punches at them that if you look at one of my favorite fights, the uh, fight in the 70s between Jimmy Young and Ali, you're going to see that Ali, who was a counter puncher, is so frustrated by Jimmy Young forcing him to take the lead that at one point in that fight Ali I think it's the third or fourth round Ali literally walks over to the side of the ropes and begs Jimmy Young to come over to the side of the ropes and throw punches on him right he couldn't handle Jimmy Young being in the middle of the ring hardly throwing any punches right if I thought Willie Casey was the kind of guy who could force Guillermo Rigondeau to take the lead and then could counter him or could pull a Timothy Bradley and could literally walk up to Rigondeau and get so close to him that when he starts throwing punches the punches are short and are close to impossible to counter if I thought Willie Casey was that kind of fighter I would take him in this fight unfortunately I can't even though he's an Irishman fighting in Ireland and even though my last name's Dwyer granted I'm Jamaican but I think there's some Irish blood somewhere along the line in my uh, family tree um, I'm taking Guillermo Rigondeau in this fight I believe Willie Casey is a straight-ahead brawler I wasn't that impressed with his victory over Highland to win the European title. Quite frankly, I thought that uh, that fight was stopped prematurely. I also thought that Highland was keeping Casey at the end of a jab. Casey looks like a hooker. He looks like uh, Adrian Diacanu, right? The light heavyweight. He looks like a hooker. His punches are a little bit wide. He's exactly the kind of fighter that Rig and Doe will be able to have a field day with. I mean, just imagine if I'm fighting Manny Pacquiao and I foolishly keep throwing that overhand right and I foolishly keep leaving myself open on the right side of my face and Manny Pacquiao is able to literally bounce to that side all night, go to town, bust up my face, 
you know, drop me a couple of times and stuff like that. That's what I expect to happen in this fight. Don't be fooled by the records. I know Rigan Rigan Dio only has seven pro fights. Rigan Dio is one of the most decorated amateurs in history. Go back and look at his history. Also, he's only 30 years old, although he's had hundreds of fights, literally. Understand, they're of the three-round variety. He doesn't have the tread on the tire that guys fighting 10 and 12-round wars have. I'm expecting Rigan Dio to use that lateral movement I was talking about Manny Pacquiao using. I'm expecting him to counter Willie Casey all night. I'm expecting Casey to make it easy for him to counter by throwing punches, worse yet, throwing looping punches. And I'm expecting Rigan Dio, who goes by the nickname The Jackal, to actually earn that nickname in this fight and to beat Willie Casey rather handily. Let me also say, too, that Casey uh, only has seven knockouts in 11 pro fights. He's not a uh, very heavy-handed guy. He does have a potent uppercut, but he has to get really close to throw it, and there is a huge foot speed disparity in this fight. Rigan Dio is very mobile. Willie Casey is not. So I like R Rigan Dio in this fight over Willie Casey. In Ireland, Rigan Dio is the favorite. He's a big favorite. I believe I saw him as a minus 500 or a minus 600 favorite. So this fight might not be worth betting on because I believe the casinos have accurately priced it. But uh, if you are inclined to bet, then I would take Rigan Dio to win the fight straddled against Casey by KO. I simply do not see, even with um, Irish judges in Ireland, with an Irish fighter, um, I just do not see Willie Casey being able to uh, get a decision over Guillermo Rigondio, who really is a gifted counterpuncher. I would argue, by the way, just in criticism of Rigondio, that he needs to learn to be more offensive. We just saw Timothy Bradley walk down Devin Alexander, right? Counterpunchers can be aggressive. Take a look at Manny Pacquiao against Oscar De La Hoya. You're going to see that Pacquiao comes out. He's pushing the action in that fight, right? Um, my criticism of Rigan Dio is that he doesn't push the action enough. He's great when the other guy pushes the action and forces him to fight back. But if the other guy doesn't push the action, then Rigan Dio seems to get lost like he was in the Cordoba fight. I would encourage everyone to take a look at that split decision win that he got. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me at gamblersadvisory.com, especially gamblersadvisory.com on Facebook, where um, viewers can publish their own videos on that page. Uh, I love to see what people have on their minds and the boxing stories that they retracted to. Thanks for watching.